the story of the Berlier T-100 begins in 1957, at a moment when France was expanding its industrial presence deep into the Sahara. Oil exploration demanded machines that could cross landscapes untouched by roads, endure heat that melted metal, and carry weights far beyond the capacity of ordinary trucks. In response, the engineers at Berlier created a vehicle unlike anything the world had seen before, a machine so massive that even modern heavy trucks seem modest beside it. This was the Berlier T-100, a desert giant designed to push the limits of engineering and rewrite the definition of an off-road vehicle. From the moment it appeared, the T-100 looked more like a moving building than a truck. It measured 15.3 meters in length, approximately 50.2 feet, 4.96 meters in width, approximately 16.3 feet, and 4.43 meters in height, approximately 14.5 feet. Standing next to it was enough to make a grown man feel small. Every line of its body expressed power. Every bolt, every panel, every joint was designed with one purpose, to survive conditions that would destroy normal machinery within hours. Only three complete units were built, and each was a masterpiece of industrial strength. At the heart of this colossus was a Cummins V12 diesel engine with a displacement of 28 to 29.6 liters, depending on the production stage. This incredible power plant produced around 600 horsepower and delivered a maximum torque of approximately 2,609 newton meters, approximately 1,924 pound-feet. The torque curve was tuned for heavy hauling, enabling the T-100 to pull equipment weighing tens of tons across sand, rock, or unprepared ground. Later versions even increased power to approximately 700 horsepower, making the T-100 even more capable. Yet this was not the only engine on the truck. As auxiliary equipment, the Berlier T-100 carried a Panhard diesel engine used to power onboard systems, pumps, compressors, and specialized oil field tools. This secondary engine ensured that the T-100 could operate independently for long missions far from any support base, making it a self-contained work unit capable of performing tasks normally requiring an entire team of vehicles. The power from the Cummins V12 was sent through a heavy-duty Clark semi-automatic transmission equipped with a hydraulic coupling. The system offered four forward gears and four reverse gears, ensuring smooth, controlled movement even under massive loads. The hydraulic coupling was especially important in desert conditions, where gear shifts under heavy strain could destroy a mechanical clutch. With this transmission, the T-100 could start moving gently, even when hauling more than 50 tons of equipment. The truck's weight was equally astonishing. The empty mass approached 50,000 kilograms, approximately 110,231 pounds, while the fully loaded gross weight could exceed 101,000 kilograms, approximately 222,667 pounds. Its rated payload varied depending on the configuration, but practical figures ranged from 50 to 60 tons, approximately 110,000 to 132,000 pounds. Some sources mention even higher operational weights during desert oil expeditions, confirming that the T-100 worked far beyond typical engineering limits. The truck used a 6.6 or 6.4 drivetrain, depending on the version, with enormous wheels nearly two meters tall. These massive tires were specially designed to prevent the truck from sinking into sand, distributing its weight across an unusually large surface area. On soft ground, the T-100 behaved like a slow-moving ship, floating over dunes where smaller trucks would immediately bog down. Engineers who witnessed it in action often said that when the T-100 moved, the desert itself seemed to make way for it. The working conditions in the Sahara tested every aspect of the T-100's design. Temperatures frequently exceeded 50 degrees Celsius approximately 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and the truck had to withstand heat, sandstorms, rough terrain, and enormous pulling loads. The engine compartments were fitted with advanced cooling systems for the era, additional filtration, and sand-resistant air intakes. Despite its size, 
the T-100 was capable of maneuvering surprisingly well, thanks to a reinforced steering system and a wide turning radius that allowed it to reposition equipment in restricted spaces around drilling sites. The truck quickly became a symbol of French industrial power in North Africa. It hauled drilling towers, transported pipes several dozen meters long, pulled machinery weighing as much as battle tanks, and served as a mobile base for field operations. In many photos from the period, the T-100 appears surrounded by regular trucks that look miniature beside it, emphasizing the scale of this machine. Workers often describe the experience of being near the T-100 as standing beside a moving wall of steel and sound, feeling the vibration of the giant V-12 engine through the sand. Despite its astonishing abilities, the T-100 was not a mass-produced vehicle. It was built for a specific purpose at a specific time, when oil exploration demanded machines that did not yet exist. Once the need for such giants faded and technology moved toward lighter modular equipment, the T-100 became a technological legend. Only a few survive today, preserved in museums or stored in desert facilities, each representing a chapter of engineering history that pushed human capability to the limits. Standing before a restored Berlier T-100, you can see the enormous wheels towering over your head, the huge grille feeding air to a V-12 engine the size of a small car, the massive frame built to withstand unimaginable stress. It is a reminder that machines can be more than tools. They can be monuments to ambition. The T-100 stands among the greatest heavy trucks ever built, a true desert titan whose story deserves to be remembered. If you want to discover more incredible machines that change the world through their strength, innovation, and bravery, make sure to subscribe. Many more giants, legends, and forgotten heroes of engineering still wait to tell their story.